Welcome back to Morning Art and TV with me, Malaki Velo Dera. And of course, we do this with Romeo Busiku. We're getting into a take note conversation for the day. Hashtag Morning at NTV. We're seeing you also live with you on uh, social media. That's Facebook and YouTube. We are live. Just head on to NTV Uganda and you'll find the Morning at NTV live stream right there. For take note this morning, we are having a conversation that has a foundation on paying it forward. If something good was done to you, the onus is on you to pay it forward. So now we are having a foundation that was established in 2019 that pays it forward for young children who are quite brilliant, but coming from poor backgrounds such that they can't afford to go through primary school. So this foundation initiated and created, established in 2019, is making sure that they identify those children brilliant. The caveat is they have to be brilliant and coming from not well-to-do families, all right? So they support them through school. Of course, providing school fees, scholastic material, if it's a girl child, sanitary towels. And of course, to just break down that conversation for you and, um, you know, they the best is on is on referrals uh, by the way so just in case you know any child who you know needs such support and foundation or support in terms of school plug in share tell a friend to tell a friend this is a conversation for you so in studios i'm joined by none other but the co-founder mr nathan Were, of course uh, of the nathan and christine Were foundation many thanks thank you welcome good morning, good morning. My first question to you would be, before you break this conversation down, before, because I've already given a preamble, why? Well, it, it comes from my own history. I went through a very turbulent time uh, through school. The entire seven years of my primary school and six years of secondary school, I never had school fees. I was passionate about school, I was brilliant, but I couldn't afford fees. So throughout the entire education journey, I was always sent back home. In fact, in secondary, whenever I would be sent back home, I would kind of sneak back in, in school and, and hide in class so that I can be able to get an education. So it only took a good Samaritan in my senior three uh, to give me a scholarship uh, to sit for my senior four exams uh, and also, uh, also A-level uh, to be able to complete my A-level, which I excelled and went to Makere on, on a government scholarship. Mm -hmm. So it's really on that basis that I thought it is important to create more bridges uh, for brilliant children. I feel a lot of pain in my heart when I see a kid that excels and he's not able to continue his education because his parents are poor and they cannot be able to afford school fees. Mm. So we've come together with my wife and through our little resources created this foundation uh, where we identify uh, brilliant and disciplined children and then support them uh, uh, through school and also a couple of other initiatives that we do as part of our foundation. Okay. Mm. And this, of course, like you said, uh, you and your wife are the founders of this and you run this. Mm. Since it's paying it forward, is it off-pocket or you're partnering with some people? So at the moment we are paying it off-pocket. Um, we make uh, minimal savings every month from the, the salaries that we make and these resources that we put towards, uh, towards this cause. But I've also been talking to a couple of, of my friends. There are many people out there who are willing to help. Right. Uh, a pen or a book, you know, it makes a difference. So we are reaching out to some of those, those that come out and, and be able to, to support the cause um, and see how we can put hands together and right. support these children. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, you started in 2019 and I was mm -hmm. looking down at the activity mm -hmm. breakdown mm -hmm. for the foundation. Mm -hmm. One of it is um, the Christine Were Prize of Excellence and Discipline mm. um, kind of program within the foundation. Um, tell us more about this one. Is it just, you know, awarding prizes and stops at that? Um, of course, awarding prizes to the, you know, well-excelling and well-disciplined children. What does it focus on? So the focus here is uh, we want to build children of character in the future. Mm -hmm. And as a foundation, we believe that you can only excel in whatever you do when you're disciplined. So we set up this prize, the Christian Weller Prize for Discipline and Excellence, to recognize and reward children that excel in UNEB exams at primary level. And we want to create this as a platform for other kids to see mm -hmm. and know that when you, 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 you're disciplined and you also excel, you can actually be recognized and be rewarded. So we've so far partnered with one school, uh, BZB Junior School in Bushenyi District. And this Saturday, we are going to be giving out our initial uh, prizes uh, for the kids that performed well uh, in 2019. So we want to use this as an example uh, and, and, and recognition to drive behavior change among the little children. Mm -hmm. 
Because when you build discipline at that level, you, you're able to build uh, a complete human right. as they grow up. Okay. Um, so we want to use this as a sort of a catalyst for driving discipline and also encouraging hard work and competitiveness uh, at primary level. Okay, so for this prize, it's just children who are excelling well and are quite disciplined. It doesn't have to be a child that you're directly supporting as a foundation. No, it doesn't have to be the child that we directly support as a foundation. Um, as long as the, 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 the child excels uh, in the schools that we partner with, okay. um, we award them the small cash prize. Uh, they also receive a recognition certificate uh, and a copy of my book. It's a motivational book that you know drives inspiration. So we, we just don't stop at awarding uh, th these prizes. We also follow these children, you know, beyond primary and secondary. How do they end up faring uh, uh, in the future? So we are starting this. Uh, like I said, we'll be launching it over this weekend. Okay. And we want to use it as a test right. for driving behavior change and discipline. Yeah. Okay. The mm. other critical foundation or activity, I'd call it that, is mm. creating more ladders for a bright future. Mm. I think this one is geared towards now paying the school fees, the actual exactly. school fees for mm. the less fortunate yet mm. brilliant children. Mm. Um, you know, break it down for us. Um, how do you go about identifying the child who is indeed needy and, you know, um, wanting of such support? Exactly. Good question. So most of the children that we've been supporting now are kids that have been referred to us. We also see through the media. Um, you know, there are so many stories. There are so many children out there. They work so hard. They excel, but their parents are incapacitated because they can't see them through the next level of education. Mm -hmm. So most of these kids have been referred. But also um, some of the schools that we are running programs with have been able to identify and refer some of, some of these children. So once the kid is identified, um, we, we put them in moderate schools because, like I said, we're using our own resources, so we cannot put them in a, a, a class kind of school. So moderate schools is public schools? It's a public school. It's okay. a private school. You know, I, I, I went to, myself, I didn't attend any school. I went to typical private small school. Some of them don't even exist because they were makeshift schools. Mm. So I personally believe that the school really doesn't matter as long as the kid is determined and is able to pursue their dream. So these moderate schools where we identify, uh, we pay for them, and we want to see them through uh, at least secondary or an A-level uh, through the education of that, of that stage, yes. All right, so mm. to this point, um, established in 2019, mm. how many children have you been able to take on? Yeah, so now we are supporting about six children. Okay. Uh, we hope to sign up uh, three or four more, but our goal by probably end of this year, we should be at 20. At 20, yeah. all right. Mm. And the support base is primary school going children for starters yeah for starters primary school going children but uh, we have one who is in uh, senior three now uh, this girl actually came to work at her home as, as a house help mm. and every time i would come back home i would find her reading you know so i had a deeper conversation with her and she told me you know i want to go back to school i want to work here for two years raise some money and then go back to school i felt a lot of pain because she's working as a house help mm -hmm. she wants to go and pursue an education I said, no, I think it, it's not right. right. So we, we took her own. Uh, senior, she's in senior three now, and we've been supporting her through her secondary education as well. So primary is the focus, and our goal is to make sure that the kids we identify in primary school, we support them through their secondary education. Okay, yeah. brilliant enough, because the conversation would be, and the question, big question would yeah. be, um, you support this child through primary, then what next? Exactly. You know. I mean, because if they terminate at primary seven, yeah. uh, then they cannot continue, um, and then it, it doesn't help. Right. Yeah. So we are going to, 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 to see that we can pursue them through um, the next levels of education or an A-level as well. Right, yeah. especially basing on research, you know, because according to um, the UN, they say that only one in four children make it to secondary school. Exactly. So the dropout rate after primary is quite high. It's, ex it's very high. And of course, as you see, primary is with UP is free. Mm. And when they start going to secondary, sometimes some communities don't have the secondary schools that provide university education. Right. So most parents are not able to afford uh, even 100,000, 200,000 school fees needed for some of the small uh, private schools in their communities. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Now, mm -hmm. the other th third activity, which mm -hmm. I call it, I think, the holy grail of all this, yeah. is um, periods with dignity periods with dignity. This mm. is a focus on the girl child um, because we all know that our young girls go through that special time of the month. And 80% um, of our population is in the rural areas, meaning that a majority don't support, don't, can't afford this basic, you know, um, supplies, sanitary towels to keep their children in school. And I was looking at some of the statistics and they're saying that each time a girl misses up to eight days, eight days exactly. of school. Exactly. That's a lot of days. Exactly. So tell us more about this. When, um, is it 50-50 support, uh, parent, 
and the foundation or the foundation takes on the entire cost? Yeah, for, 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 the, so for the kids that we support, um, we provide this um, to them. But also for some of the schools that we are, we are partnering with, uh, you know, once a term we could organize an assortment of sanitary towels and provide them to the school in order to share with some of these kids. Mm -hmm. Of course, the parents have a contribution. I mean, we are only coming in to, to lend a hand, but the parents have a contribution that they're able to make when we are not able to do it, for example, in certain months. Mm -hmm. We believe that, um, as you rightly say, most of these kids miss school uh, because of, of these uh, uh, couple of days during the month or periods. And because of that, it, it also impacts on their performance mm. and continuity in school. So we want to keep the girls in school. And um, so we are mobilizing the resources to be able to help avail these anti towers to them so that they can continue in school. Um, and also dignity, you know, wh when they, those periods start, some of them run away right. uh, and because of shame and sort of embarrassment, yeah. Right. So that's why we're doing this. Okay, so mm -hmm. what does the future hold for the foundation now that it's just starting? And uh, <laughs> 2019, 2020, I think you have quite a bit in your plate yeah. and what you want to achieve come this particular year. So mm -hmm. tell us more about that and how, um, you know, maybe the viewers, the public can actually plug in mm -hmm. in terms of support and also how they can reach you just in case they know of a child who indeed needs and mm. deserves your support. Exactly. So 2020 and the years to come, I think we are, go we are going to continue pursuing our dream and our passion. Okay. We believe that uh, along the way, uh, many, there are many uh, you know, good-hearted Ugandans out there that are willing to give. So we've created a platform and very soon we'll be letting them know about how they can be able to, to support. Mm -hmm. We want to put up this, some of these kids and their profiles on our, on our website so that if you want to support a child with whatever, the book or a pen, uh, you can easily be able to, to do that and, and, reach, and reach out to them. All right. So for the parents that are out there, um, I'll, I'll provide my, my phone number. Feel free to reach out to me. We'll come and, 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 and assess the child and see um, the performance and all. Mm -hmm. And then you can put them onto, onto, the, onto our program. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you have a website or a social media page? Yes, we have a website, uh, nathanandchristine.org. Uh, that's the website of our foundation. And um, a lot of the details are also there. Mm -hmm. and we're also working on our social media pages as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Many thanks. Thank you, and thank you for having me. All right, mm. so um, before I let you go, we have Junior Mukuza. We are live on Facebook and in, uh, YouTube as well. NTV Uganda Morning at NTV is streaming live. We are having Junior Mukuza saying, Nathan, where are, thank you for being who you are. Thank that's you. That's a viewer. Thank you, Junior. All right, well, mm. that's it for our Take Note conversation this morning. You can plug in and even support as well. So let's be active. Let's be, you know, indeed good patriotic citizens 2020. Well, that's it for the Take Note conversation. Allow us to pay our bills. We'll be back with so much more. Stay with us.